Why does it always have the worst thumbnails? <laughs> that is horrible. That is just absolutely On my end, hey, hey. Welcome back, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Eat another gummy bear. Um, is anybody here watching from Facebook? I'm trying to see if it's on the Facebook page or not. Mm. Okay, I lost it again. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. How are you guys doing today? Get on Facebook. Let's see. Um, okay. Me too. I'm just trying to make sure everything looks correct before I get too far into the stream today. I only have two shirts to make. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be like super busy, so I want to get them done today. Uh, it's just two. You know, the same shirt. Uh, one's like a rush order. Um, so, yeah. Let me put this in the description to the video. As, are any of you guys working right now? Hey Olivia, hey Stay Unique, hey Shania, hey Shania. Hold on, aren't you supposed to be a school ma'am? Do I need to tell your mother? I need to tell your mama. Um. Software I use to stream. Um, so I put an affiliate link for the software I use to stream. I know a lot of you guys ask the software I'm using for the split screen. So it is there now. Um, hey Karen, wedding cake. Oh my goodness, and 250 cookies. And I want cake. I want some cake now. I'm trying to go back to the video so I can see the comments. Let me make sure I have the right fabric for these shirts. I'm pretty sure. Working, getting up, getting set up to sew four Hawaiian shirt orders. Oh, sounds like fun. Tess. <laughs> Congratulations on your Melco. That is awesome. <laughs> coffee is a must. Ice. Ice. I'm not a hot coffee drinker. Did you guys see? I don't know if any of you guys follow Duncan on Instagram. They did a Instagram story where they're like, oh, they're refreshing their who like their VIP sponsors are. They're refreshing them. But like they said like you had to drink the coconut drink but I don't drink that and I was like can't you just do one for lattes please can I get that please but at least they're looking for new people but I guess I don't qualify because I'm not a I better just go drink a coconut drink and just make a dramatic TikTok about it <laughs> um let me I'm trying to double check the shirts I already did the DTG shirts this morning I'll show those to you after I put the fabric on the shirt Let me 
Mountain Shepherd stops and the shirt over there. We go back to the convex. <laughs> hey Angela, recess right now, LOL. Did you see your daughter's in here? And she's supposed to be uh paying attention in school. Hey Bingham Bliss. Good morning, everyone. Hey, so cute boutique store. No, I get too scared to. I get scared to use uh, custom items. I just like. I think they're pretty, and I like to just let them be pretty. Because there's someone that's not me who washes things, and if it gets damaged, I'll be mad. I want to like have like, uh, uh, in my office room, have like all the different things you guys make, so I can keep them there. Do you combine heat transfer vinyl with fabric? Yes, I do. Well, I hope you enjoy your haircut. Sunday. Whitney Champion. Hey, Angela. I just started watching your videos about a week ago, and because of you, I started using my Cricut again. Ooh, that is awesome. You better put that stuff to use. Don't just let it sit there and gather dust. Use your stuff. Did that rhyme kind of? No, not really. Stuff, dust. Oh, my God. Definitely not. Oh, man. Hey, Jazzy. Hey, Angela, can you tell me or show me how the tension no knobs should be on the Brother P? I've, ne I've never embroidered, so I'm not sure how my sample should look. So the back of your shirts should be like a third the color thread, a third white, and a third of color thread, like even. Three, it's like you split it in three on the back of the shirt. That's how it should look. Um, in terms of the knobs, I have them... Pretty much all my machines are, there's like three lines on the knobs, and I haven't turned all the way up to the three knobs, three lines I mean. All three lines are visible, if that makes sense. I'm hoping to get all my vinyl weeded today. Oh my goodness, vinyl weeding, it's fun sometimes, but like when you get those really intricate designs, I'm like, ah, I'll pass. Did you guys know Stalls does, uh, they have a service where you can send me your design and they'll weed the vinyl for you. Like, it comes already weeded for you. I didn't know that existed. Uh, you won't be able, you wouldn't be able to do like a whole birthday show without paying numbers and character. Um, on that uh, machine. Did I, did I just totally skip the steps? Dang it. 
I think I skipped a step. So we're gonna find out what happened. Maybe it's not pretty easy. Depending on what it embroiders. Uh, the dinosaur. Somebody, maybe the applique alley for the dinosaur frame, possibly. I buy stuff from everywhere, so I don't ever remember exactly what's from where. I don't know if I did say the wrong store, but the stores I use are Embroidery Boutique, Applique Alley, Designs by Juju, um, Hooked on Applique. How long do I work daily? Um, I usually work from like 8.30 to maybe like 5. On like embroidered stuff, I usually embroider um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes I do Sunday though because sometimes it's just easier to do the embroidery. Um, when it's like not a ship day and it's ready for the week. Depends on how many orders I have. But like the other day, guys, when I did the live on Sunday and I made those shirts. And I finished like, what was it, almost 20 shirts that day. I got so lucky um, because Kenny had having to go get his tooth pulled. So I wasn't able to work. And I'm like, oh my God, had I not done those shirts on the live that day, I would have been Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Nelly. Do you prefer clam or swing away? I like swing away. That was like, the one I have now is swing away as well. Um, my first one was swing away. The only reason I don't like clam is because when you go to, like, I just burn my hands on it. Long story short. I don't like that. Um, I don't like swing away. And like the pitted board. Like, I have does both. It has the pool and then it also swings, but because of where it is, I can't have a swing. But it does have the option. I just like to be able to use the entire, like, I left my shirts out there. Hey, I love your milk. Oh, thank you, Robin. Hey, I like the t-shirt you have on. Thank you. I just made it. <laughs> When you use glitter and vinyl, do your yes, you even remove you remove this piece, the carrier sheet. Always remove it. Let me get my These are the shirts. These are like my newest shirts. Um, I know most people haven't seen them, I don't think. Unless you like are on my Etsy shop. But these are my newest shirts that I make with the DTG. They're super quick, super cute. 
Um, so these are orders for this week. So I got two of these, and then two zoo shirts. They are super cute. I think it's one of those. <laughs> two, it really is two of each. <laughs> when making two tools, if your tool is folded in half off the bolt, so when you cut the sides, you have two layers, and then when you fold to make casing, you have four layers. Yes, it'll be four layers, correct. Four layers. So we are restocking. It's around May 19th again, because we are moving. I didn't want to ship and go into the wrong house, <laughs> so May 19th-ish, that's a soft May 19th, hopefully they'll be here, that's my birthday too, so I'll be packing orders on my birthday, but yes, May 19th is the day I'm hoping they arrive, um, and again, we always have updates, I did put a restock tab on AJ Blank's website so you guys can look there, I literally, am, as I place more orders, I have a restock date for you guys and I, that way you guys can see it and always know when something new is going to be coming in. Hey Dukwana and Brilliance how do you load purchase fonts? So I buy the BX fonts and then you have you go to your downloads folder because you download it from Etsy or wherever you buy them. And then you literally drag the file and drop it into Unbrilliant. And then it'll tell you this font was installed. And then you click OK. And then you have to, I don't know if you have to close Unbrilliant and open it again. You may not have to, but that is pretty much it. Yeah, the only way they stay in the software is if you have the BX file. If you buy a .pes or .dsc, those do not stay in Unbrilliant. You have to drag letter by letter. But if you buy the .bx font, then it will stay in the brilliance. I need some instructions on how to keep the four edges together and making two twos. I can never get my edges to stay. Yeah, that's just the struggle bus. Um, as you keep making them, you'll get used to it. But it does take a while. They, so don't get so, so upset over it. It's not going to be even all the way. It's just part of it. Um, just try to go slow. I know like the thicker uh, tool is easier to keep lined up, but the soft tool is like a setup. <laughs> Alright, I gotta start packaging these. Actually, I wanted to take a video of one of them. Eva Hello from Canada. Regarding shipping, do you mind explaining the process? How do you personally mail items that were ordered online? So to do that, you buy them from Etsy. So if you're selling on Etsy, you have the order come up and you click get shipping label and then you put in how much it weighs um, so you would need a scale and then you choose whether they want I know Canada shipping is different like first class mail I don't know what options Canada has for shipping but you choose which method you would like to ship it and that is how you would ship it you take it to the post office or you have them well you guys don't know how your system works but you would take it to the post office and they would ship it for you because it's already paid No, we haven't moved yet. We're getting like um, some things done to the house. If you guys want like house updates, if you are on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, you, <laughs> you see, I post a lot whenever I go to the new house. Y'all would have seen Keenan's toilets that got installed, his bougie toilets. I want to record a video of this, so I'm not going to package this.
can you quickly explain how ads work on Etsy? So, with Etsy ads, let's say you activate it and you want to pay like $5 a day. So, based on your tags, titles, your um, description, your pictures, Etsy is going to choose who they think wants the items you're selling. So, they're going to show it to whoever. Now, if you just put in like, let's say your, your thing is like unicorn birthday, it's literally going to show your listing for people who, even if they're searching for like birthday cups, unicorn um, place, unicorn invitations. So you have to be specific because you don't want to waste your ad money. Um, and another thing is you can't control how much Etsy spends per like click. You used to be able to, but you can't now. Um, so pretty much when someone clicks on your ad listing, if you would see on Etsy where it'll say like, you see a listing that has like in white, it says like ad on the bottom right hand corner, I believe is where it is. Um, you do, if someone clicks on that listing, it spends money. Um, and usually your ad money is usually gone in the morning. Let's say though your ad money is not gone at all and it's been a whole day, your ads aren't being used. like. That means your tags, your titles, whatever you have is incorrect and Etsy is just not even showing it. Because of Etsy, you're pretty much giving Etsy permission to take your money. And if they're not spending it, something is wrong. Um, oh, the, those yellow sinks, yeah. Yellow sinks in the house, yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Um, Etsy ads. Um, you can choose which listings you would like Etsy to show or to play. You don't have to put ads on everything. I never recommend having ads on all your items. It's actually a great idea to run ads on your best selling items. Some people are like, that's backwards. Why would I want to do that? Because people are already buying it. So now Etsy has already has an idea of exactly who your, who your target customer is because they've been buying it. So if you put more money into it, you'll get more sales on that item because it's already proven to do well and it'll just be better. Um, what else? I'm about to just have my face straight up. Um, Cinco de drinks. Hey, Barry. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, so, yeah, I think that's kind of answers your question, maybe. Just a little bit. You've had three coffees already? I could not even imagine myself drinking three coffees by now. I think I would just be off the wall. Six. How much daily? Well, that just really, truthfully, that depends on your budget. I always say, like, whatever. Whatever. Hold on, can you guys hear me okay? Or is my machine's really loud? Bay Area Bevmo, thank you so much for the $4.99 super chat. I don't know these, I made these with the DTG printer. So you have the shirt cost, and the ink for this shirt is maybe like five cents. I'm still on the same cartridges from February, so. And they're only maybe 10% empty. Nadia, hey Angela, start watching your videos recently and totally love it. So I am starting my own embroidery piece here in SA. Is that a state or is that South Africa? I'm guessing here. I'm guessing. <laughs> but I wish you much luck and success in your business. That machine is done. The shirt has finished. That's why I love those shirts. Um, so let me switch it since there's no more embroidery. I don't think you want to look at a machine all day. Ah, 
there's Angela. Ooh, ooh, hello. San Antonio. Oh. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Oh, it's okay. So the DTG printer is about $13,500, I believe. I believe. I also want to mention, if you guys are going to buy AJ Blanks, we do have a few affiliates, so it, it does also help them out if you click on their uh, their links. So if you're going to buy, if you want to click on their links, it'll definitely help them out. We have Nita Fajita on her YouTube channel, Cindy Moncada on her YouTube channel, um, the SoCrack Teacher with Alicia on her YouTube channel, I feel like I'm forgetting someone, Kachi's Customs, <laughs> her YouTube channel, Sterling Styles, so yes. Why are a lot of people dropping Etsy? So th the biggest thing with Etsy is that people just don't like the fees that come along with Etsy um, because it cuts into their profit. Um, that's the biggest. What does my shirt say? Oh, there's a bad word on it. But busy doing small business shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> a little Alessia Co. I knew it was somebody. Thank you. So... Liz. <laughs> uh, with my DTG, I made... These are the shirts I made with my DTG. So... So, yeah. Again, there's Nita Fajita, Little Lessia Cole. Um, let me just, just say their names. <laughs> Alicia, no, you guys know them for their YouTube days. Little Lessia Cole, Nita Fajita, the Soul Cracker Teacher with Alicia... Um, I just forgot everybody again. I keep reading comments. Riley is upstairs. If they leave Etsy, where do they go? Usually they have their own Shopify store, so they're able to grab their traffic from Etsy and direct them to Shopify. So, let me... Somebody want to bring me some crinkle paper? I need... Not a lot. Just, just, just a little bit. I have stuff to provide me. She might have to share with you. Uh, did you guys hear her in the video? I don't know if you guys heard it when um, I was printing the Rolo labels in the last video and. She's like, Mom, can I put the labels on, on the boxes? And I was like, I'll think about it. She was like, Angela Potter, why do you always have to go through this? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Why do you always have to think about things? And I was like, hmm. For these, I use the Epson F2100 direct-to-garment printer. You can purchase them from Todd Eggersman if you would like, or if you want more information, you can click on the link. I don't know if it's even in this video. Um... Or let me see if it's in the video. Yes, you can click on melco.com slash Angela Melco if you want more information on the Epson or the Melco embroidery machine. Um, uh, no one brought me crinkle paper. Yes, yeah, sassy children. Do you recommend doing Etsy ads as soon as you start shopping on Etsy? I always say do not start ads unless you know your tags, titles, and everything and pictures are great. Because you don't want to waste money. So once you know those are great, then yes. It's going to be very hard to get traffic to your Etsy shop um, without ads, especially in the beginning. Um, if you have a lot of things listed, that's different. But it just makes it a little bit easier. Ads work for some people, but it don't work. It doesn't work for everybody, and I, I literally think it's just because tags, titles, and were in keywords. Oh, Roman called me Angela, and I was just like, "What?" Like he said it like three times. I'm like, "What is he saying?" And then I finally put together. I said, He's saying Angela. Thanks. Yes, Angela Potter. Why do we always have to go through this? And I was like. Uh, and then when she asked me, 
She was like, do you promise me? I'm like, what do I promise you? That she was like, do you trust me? I was like, how do you just come up with these things, child? How? She's something else. My embroidery machine got jammed up yesterday, and I went on YouTube and fixed it myself. Yes, that's how I do 99.99999% of everything. I don't have time for my machines to be down. YouTube. So two shirts do fit in this box. That's why the two inches works best. Can can you combine DTG and embroidery in the same shirt? You can. You definitely can. Um, Melko wanted to... They had asked me to do a video explaining it. But So the Melko has a feature where you can tell it where to embroider. So like it has... It's like a... Not that it's laser. I mean, they do have the laser alignment, which you just pick two points, and it'll make it so straight. Like, even if you hoot something crooked, it has a feature where you click, okay, here's one end, here's the other end, and it'll embroider that direction, make it completely straight. But they have a feature where, you know, you can do both. Like, you can embroider around, like, like let's say, like, a design, you can embroider around it. Hey, Cindy! Cindy, I remembered you. You were actually the first person, second person I mentioned. I said Nita first, and I said Cindy. And then I went over it again later, okay? I knew I forgot you. Hey, Teacher Victoria. What is more expensive, the Melco or the Brother Ten Needle? The Brother is more expensive. So the brother, the Melco is about thirteen seven. Now you get add-ons and whatever else you want. About fourteen. The brother, well, I guess it depends on where you get it from. Cause some, the brother can go for like ten five to like twenty five thousand. It just varies on where you live. So that's why. So it, it depends. Most of them are going for fifteen, but just see where you. Just ask your local dealer. I thought somebody was bringing me crinkle paper. I guess not. I'm left all alone with nobody here beside me. How long was the house process? So it took us like three months to find a house, but closing was only 25 days. I just messaged. Ta, thank you, AJ. Thank you. Oh, guys, you know what name somebody called me today? Alexis. I get like the Angelina, the Jasmines, you know, but like Alexis. I'm like, wow. Thanks. It's a cute name, it's just not mine. Good evening, Carla from Liverpool, UK. No crinkle paper for you. Oh, that's a two. I'm like, why is it so hard? You gotta come get it. It's a it's messy. I get it. I get it. Thanks, Michelle. It's so sweet. Alejandra. Oh, my gosh. I've, I know one person with that name. She went to my elementary school. But no, no one's called me that yet. I We have the Epson F2100 GTG printer. That's what we have. Um, I've been getting a few emails about why I chose the Epson versus others. And long story short, after much research... <laughs> Um, it was the most reliable, um, some people had issues with, like, ink spills, leakage, and, like, switching out a lot of maintenance and everything, and I was like, I'm not dealing with that, I don't want to deal with that. So the Epson is very user-friendly, it's literally, like, printing, printing on a piece of paper, or printing, on a printer is what I mean, it's super easy. That's what I liked, and, um, the maintenance you do daily, it's basic maintenance, though, it's nothing difficult, like, five minutes, so... Um, and it has a sub cleaning. When are you going to get stock on blanks? So our next shipment, I know you guys really want the girls. I know every blanks company is sold out of 2T right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, May 19th-ish is my date that I'm hoping they arrive. But that's a flexible date, okay? I will put updates out there when they arrive. If you sign up for the restock alert, so you'll get an alert. Um. How did you decide to use boxes? 
Um, because, so when I first started, I wanted to use them, but it was too expensive. Um, adding up all the costs to me, I was like, this is just not, it was not worth it. It's too expensive. Um, and then I just, I don't know. I see my sister, how she packages her stickers and I'm like, that's cool. That's cool. And I was like, I want to change my packaging. So just got jealous of my sister's packaging skills. And I was like, huh. okay. Then I saw the so crafty teacher putting confetti. I'm like, okay, everyone has cool packaging and and I want something else. So I got the big boxes, which were a fail because they were way too big. But these um, total, like with the shirt, it's eight ounces. So they're still first class package. They're about extra 10 to 20 cents. Like if they, it's shipping to California, it is like 20 cents more to ship it. Total shipping costs. But like otherwise, it's like 10 cents. Is there a, any quick way to create custom designs of Monko without recreating them each time? Yes, 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 yes. So what you want to do is after you make the design, save it. Just save it. And then you can always go back and edit it if you want to, but just save it. Every time you make a new, like a two in a unicorn, a three in a unicorn, save them on your computer. Make a folder. And make sure you have an external hard drive to back it up in case your computer dies. Just save it. And that way you just open that design and add the name. You just open the same design. So all you're doing is adding names. Do not. It is so irritating to go back and edit the entire design. It makes me mad to this day when I forget to save a design. And I have to go in there and redo the entire design because I forgot to save it. So always save each design. Yes, Michelle does sell her stickers on Etsy. Her Etsy shop is marbled mauve. Ow, my back. I wasn't sure if this is cut yet. Look. Did she cut this? She was cutting her stickers. Or oh, my stick. That was a failure, Angela. That was a total failure, Angela. I'm not a sticker person, so I don't know how the sticker stuff works. Oh, I just ripped this one back. Well, she's not going to hear it. Oh, she did because I she's watching a lot. Um, so she made these custom stickers for... KCD, um, so she can make you custom stickers. She makes them from AJ Blinks as well, but yeah, I use them for packaging too. Oh, it is South Africa. Yes, I was right the first time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, hold on. Are you guys coming for me about the the confetti? The boxes are from Uline.com. Someone did email me. They were somewhere cheaper to get the boxes. I think they were like 10 cents cheaper. Let me check my email. Please hold while I try to check my email for that. Mail, mail, mail. Um, I don't think I'm going to remember. <laughs> um, I don't remember. If you're here... Can you comment it? <laughs> do you recommend getting half a front when you do shirts? Yes. Always get at least a 50% deposit. Um, April King, thank you for the $5. Do, do. Does your sister make tags to go in items? No, she doesn't. Good morning, Robin. Alright, so you really, no one's bringing me confetti, really? Forget y'all. I'm gonna have to go get some confetti. Oh, wow, no, not confetti. Who? Some. Let me put this here and then go get some crinkle paper. A big cute box. It looks like watermelons now. Watermelons. Alright. Do I have these packages? I wonder. 
made just for you. I already drank my coffee today. Um, you can make your own designs um, for the DTG. Like you would make them, let's say Photoshop, wherever you design stuff, procreate. Just make sure it's a PNG. That's all you need. It needs to be is a PNG. Ooh, that rhymed. Ha ha ha. I have not tried the signature latte. Are you ever going to come out with different products or do you continue making the shirts you make? Um, I always make new kids shirts, but I don't really, I don't know. Because I wanted to do like monogram baby gowns, baby stuff, monograms that is like a little bit quicker. But. Haven't gotten there yet. I don't know. We'll see what I do in my new space and how creative I feel like being. Yes, this is the DTG shirt. I did this on the DTG. So, super cute. Takes like, I think it's like a minute to print. And that was it. Super simple. Just for you. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, Etsy tape. Duh. That's what you're after. Thank you for your order. Oops. I messed up the stickers. She just never gonna know. AKA coming through. Oh, that's true. That is true. It is. Those are the correct colors. Oh, do you guys want to hear what I did? If you're on my Instagram, you would know already. So, but like, so this is what happened. <coughs> on. Is it Monday? Yeah, Monday. La la la. We're on the way to the new house because we're getting a washer and dryer delivered. And we have all this other stuff to do. People coming, and the refrigerator's getting delivered. La la la. Get a call. Hey, this is this is Lowe's. We're ten minutes away. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm fifteen minutes away. Sorry, it's pretty far from my house. Okay, no problem. Cool. Driving, another phone call, and I'm like, hello. Hi, this is Lowe's. We're forty minutes away, and I'm like, I'm confused. They're like, yeah, we have your washer and dryer, and I'm like. Uh, okay, but like, why would you guys do it on two separate delivery trucks? Why wouldn't you guys deliver everything at the same time to my house? And they're like, yeah, well, the address, and they give the address, and it's this address. And I'm like, okay, because I did have my stove come into this address because I just needed to come here, or the cooktop, whatever. So then, hang up, and I'm like, hold on. He said, washer and dryer. Washer and dryer need to be at the house. I'm so confused. So I call him back, and he's like, yeah, it's a washer and dryer coming to this house right here. And I'm like, no, cancel. Cancel it. Turn it around. I had no space for washer and dryer. No, no. And I was so mad. And then, like, I called them. I called Lowe's back, and they were like, oh, well, because it was placed online, you need to call online services to reschedule delivery. I'm like, okay, call online services. And they're like, okay, well, the store will call you. And I'm like, okay. The delivery guy said that the cor the store would call me, but I don't want to wait and they don't call because I need things delivered. Like, I need stuff to get there. And they're like, okay, well, they'll give you a call. I'm like, all right. Call the store. They don't answer. Then I get a phone call, okay? Four o'clock, I get a phone call. Keenan's on my phone. He goes, it's probably just spam. He declines the call. Declines it. Okay, I grabbed the phone from him. They left a voicemail. Voicemail said, hi, this is Lowe's. We're sorry. We saw that you had the wrong shipping address. We wanted to reschedule it for you, so please give me a call back. I click call back. Literally, it's been a minute. One minute. Some lady answers. I'm like, hi, I want to reschedule my delivery. I put the wrong address. I live very, very far from the house, so I want to make sure it's on a day that I can get there and a time. She's like, oh, well, I can take the address down, but... Um, everyone in delivery is gone for the day. I'm like, it's 4 o'clock. She's like, yeah, they left at 2. And I said, someone just called me, like, one minute ago to reschedule delivery. She goes, well, I'm not sure who that could be. And I was just like, oh, my God. I'm like, all right. Well, she's like, I can write the new address down for you, um, but call back again in the morning. And I'm just like, okay, thank you. So then, call back in the morning. Nobody answers. Call back again. Nobody answers. And I'm like, okay. Well, they did say 
to call online lows. And I'm like, so I called online lows again. And they're like, yeah, well, I can't change the delivery date for you. They have a delivery date for this weekend from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I don't like, listen, I don't have any furniture in that house. I have two children. I cannot stay in the house for 12 hours with nothing to do waiting for the washer and dryer. <coughs> and she was like, well, well, I can put the address in here and make a note that you have an address, but you're going to have to call the store. And I was like, I'm done. I can't. I'm like, I keep going back to the store, back to you guys, back to the store, back to you guys. Can somebody just resolve this? Well, they have it scheduled for this weekend, so it'll be there this weekend. And I'm like, I'm done. I was like, okay. So then I called the store again, and luckily, a lovely lady saved my life and said, I'm changing the delivery for you, and it got squared away. But I'm like, all because I didn't check. <sighs> but yeah. The Etsy packing tape, Etsy sent that out last year. Uh, it was a promotional item. So yeah. Angela, in the past you mentioned most of your orders are from the West Coast. I'm in the... What, I, are from the West Coast. I'm in the West Coast and my orders are all from the East Coast. That's so weird, yes. Literally... Like, 80% of my orders are always California, Washington, Wisconsin. And I'm like, I'll take the order, but, like, I don't get many Maryland, New Jersey's. Yeah, so, yeah, after you put the shirt in here, I put the crinkle paper. Actually, you put this Make Just For You sticker. And the thank you card. I already printed the shipping label, so you'd go on Etsy and just print your shipping label. And that would be it. I didn't check the name, though. Hold on. Right. That is all. Oh, yeah, somebody said... I have never... Someone wanted me to not ship the shirt for, like, a month. And I'm like, I can't do that. I'm just going to write on it, don't open till your birthday. <laughs> um... For YouTube videos, I recommend the Canon G7X Mark II, not the three, the two. Um, I made the thank you cards in Canva, um, and then I put washing instructions in the back. Um, it's not gloss on the back because I ordered them from Staples since it was like same day pickup. But when you order from Vista Print, you can do gloss on front and back. Hey, bless mama. Let's see. My garage door has been open. Hey, Lisa. I'm trying to find this order and not myself. I'm going to put the wrong shipping label on somebody's stuff. <laughs> the zoo shirts are so cool. Is he leaving the house? He opened it and opened it again. How do you open a garage without closing it? Alright, uh, this one wants green crinkle paper because well I can put both because it's for a boy and a girl. Super cute. Um uh, hi Lisa. Hey front porch crafting. Hey Heidi. Heidi. Hi Diana. Good afternoon, Nairo. We I am doing good. I think everyone else is doing great. Well, I may have asked before, but do you take items from people to work? No, no, I do not. I do not. One, the reasons I don't is because one, I want to make sure I can actually embroider or do whatever I need to do on that garment. And I want to be able to replace it. Um, it's cheaper for me to replace something that I purchased wholesale than from somebody else who brings like a $25 jacket or something. I don't know. I just don't take custom items. I give them the catalog and they could pick out what they would like from like Alpha Broad or SNS Activewear. Um, but no, I don't allow people to do that. That's that's just me. Some people do that. I, I can't. Because it's like, if I it's, there's too much pressure to mess up. I got the thank you. I designed them on K 
Canva, and then I got them printed at Staples online. Did I put the thank you card in here? Somebody? Anybody? Does anybody know? I didn't. I did not. Thank you for your purchase. Oh, there's a lot of questions. Yeah, I'm like, like I'm, I can embroider, but like sometimes machines mess up or mistakes can happen. And I am not going to tell somebody that their great-great-grandmother's passed down from generation to generation t-shirt or something. God damn, nope, I can't do that. I cannot. That's what I get for mixing this. I don't want green in here. Is Pamela here? Hey, Pamela, still waiting on my milk. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to text Todd and say, <coughs> Todd, where is Pamela's medical? You need to hand deliver it, Todd. Is this the person that wants it? I got to find it. I forgot this one. Piensas en el futuro hacer video series de tutoriales. Sí. So, so, the reason I don't do tutorials right now is because I feel like I already have a tutorial video out for everything I know how to do. Like, I try to do tutorials, like, the last one, I guess, was, like, the baby gowns. Um, and I just don't want to be repetitive making the same tutorial. Um, I want to do a tutorial for something different. I am going to be doing, like, a how to, like, I'm going to make a Spanish version of my... YouTube channel and try to like do a few tutorials in Spanish with my mother's help because Spanish isn't that great but um I just you know I feel like it'll be repetitive to do how to applique when I already did that before I mean if y'all don't care if y'all still gonna watch it but yeah so to put stocks in a design you use <coughs> You would usually program that on your machine, but um, in your software, I usually make like all the placement stitches, let's say uh, black. No, you never want to use black. <laughs> let's say I make all the placement stitches blue. I make all the placement stitches one color, all the tack down stitches one color. That way, when I take it to my machine, I know where to put the stops in. Um, what else? But in your software, you can like put a stop in there, but I just always do it on the machine because I just find it to be easier. How are you going to move your machines? A moving company, not me. I'm having them move professionally. <laughs> you gotta hire the Spanish stock of Telecaster to do the play-by-play. Was that my cabinet? Unfreeze. Unfreeze camera. Unfreeze. It's frozen. Tutoriales en español. Se me encanta la idea. Yes. No, Keenan is not touching these machines. Um, if I miss something, are your shipping in boxes? Yeah, so. Oh my god, that is loud. I think what this person's doing at the house. Um, the shipping boxes are eight ounces versus t-shirts or about four. Um, so it costs about 10 to 20 cents more to ship these. You could still ship them first class because they're only eight ounces. The boxes themselves are 50 cents. So that is more than the mailers cost. Um,
Yes, if you could hit the thumbs up button, I'd appreciate it. Give the video a like. Um, you need an English Spanish sewing crafting dictionary. That is very specific, but I agree. I agree with that statement. So, I'm trying to figure out what they're doing. Um, do you bag the box? No, I send it like this. So I would tape it, and that's it. It's done. There's a shipping label on it. Ooh, and you just ship it. It's like how uh, what's her face? Kylie Cosmetics. That's the only person I can think of. <laughs> this is how she ships her stuff. They just come in boxes like this. Because, like, you can't, it's a lot harder to lose this and damage this than it is to damage a bag. So, so, yeah. I didn't get the shoes. Yeah, I haven't gone to UPS yet. I will be going today. So, we'll go today. Um... I'm highly thinking about ordering a Melco, but I was wondering if you recommend a percent down on a Melco machine before ordering. That's up to your financial situation, but I always write, if you could put anything down, then I would put something down. The boxes are from Uline.com. I don't share my AJ Blank supplier. How wide should a name be on the back side of a jersey? Uh, why? I mean, I would say, like, it depends on the size of the shirt, but you do want it to be, like, shoulder to shoulder. Um, you just have to, de I don't know that answer for sure. I usually just eyeball things, and, but, like, I would say, like, 14 inches is, like, a good size. That's the size of my Nike hoop. That's a good starting point. Yes, it cost me about 10 to 20 cents more to ship the boxes versus the poly mailers. My Etsy orders are done, Michelle. They're done. You, somebody just needs to tell attention. Who? Who? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, it's done, Michelle. Proof. Done. Is Kendra done packing orders? Cart heart thick fabrics. I did a video on cart heart jackets. Um, yeah, you can look at that video, but what I did was I got these. Thank you, Zelda Zelda, $22 super chat. I got um, these clips from Lowe's. I think they're like a dollar. And I used these to hold the Mighty Hoop just to make sure it wouldn't fall because it is so thick. So. Yeah. Um, the pop up works. I'm so curious to know what my house looks like. Oh my god. My god. I'm impatient right now. Uh, I only I did all the um, printed DTG shirts already. I like I did most of my orders on Sunday, so they were already done. Um, in terms of the shirts. Oh, I guess he's leaving. Is he taking my cabinets somewhere? What the heck? You gonna steal my cabinets? <laughs> um, Dancing Once Creations made some shoes for Riley, and I want to go get them and see them. They're like bling bling shoes. Uh, 
Uh, right now, yes, I do have ads on. Um, I think it's either at five or ten dollars a day. Um, so for filming, I recommend the Canon G Seven X Mark II. Oh, I'm trying to think I have it near me. My nose itches. So let me go get some hand sanitizer. Ooh, I'm gonna touch me by shirt. Hand sanitizer. A whole snack. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Morgan. I like, I like to, so yeah, that was one thing. The Carhartt jackets, because they are thicker, it's, it's easy to, like, you don't have to worry about, like, the stitching coming out right because it's such a durable jacket. Also, with those, you can use tearaway. Um, you don't need cutaway. Oh, I have a whole. I'm just this away. A whole ship of label. Why does my nose keep itching? I'm in here talking. Go ahead. Go ahead. Coffee powder. I'm going to say there's a ghost tickling my nose. I know that's coming for you soon. Even your ghosts. My machine is six thread baby lock, just like the one you have on the very right screen behind. I love you, young uns. Oh, youngins. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I said young uns. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, larger kids shirts. So the size, the biggest size I go up to is a 14 in kids. So besides that, that's pretty much an adult small. So they don't really sell any shirts bigger than an adult I mean, they're 14. That's the biggest size out there. Bye, Cindy. Yeah, see, at least it wasn't just me, young uns. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Monica, estoy feliz que compraste una casa que Dios te sigue bendiciendo. Gracias, Monica. So May 19th is when like the girls 2T, 3T, 4T, 5T, you know, the size that I'm out of stock, those will be coming back in pre-order. I'm expecting at the end of May, I'll give you a better update. Um, pre-order is going to ship to me on the 19th. Um, but again, I don't know exactly how long it's going to take to get it to the house. Thank you. Love your shirt. Thank you. Busy doing small business. Shiitake mushrooms. Um. Hey, Kay. It's so, I don't know why it's so easy to miss comments here. Like, I try to go back and read them. Um. But it's like they disappear, I feel like. So I'm not going to be getting any more ribbon until we move into the new house um, because I don't want it to accidentally, so like, not next week, like the last week in May, um, because, oh, is it the last week in May? <laughs> I'm too, I'm worried that it'll get shipped to this house, like it'll be delivered early and get shipped to this house and we're no longer here or it gets shipped <laughs> to the other house before we get there, so... I will be placing another ribbon order probably like Friday. Um, so I'll say like the 17th, I'll probably have more ribbon in stock than what's in stock now. Yes, please, let's hit that thumbs up button. Um, hey, Aqua Bloom, what's up? 
Aqualoon, your pictures are crazy. Your pictures are so good. I don't... I mean, you made a video, I know, on how you take pictures, but, like, they're, like, professional, professional. Like, it looks like you did a whole magic cheat code and, like, went, like, I don't know. Your pictures are great. For my birthday shirts, if it's just a number, I do, like, six and a half inches. Six, six and a half, and then add the name. Leave, like, an inch, inch and a half for the name. And then for... A number and a design next to it, it's, the number is usually five inches. Um, small business, big dreams, that's a good one. Just got a 20 shirt order. We getting jewel chicken tonight. What is that? Is that a chicken place? How much money does it take to start an embroidery business? Um, there's a lot of factors that go into that because did you finance your machine? What's your monthly payment on your machine? Which machine did you get? Um, let's say you get your embroidery machine, t-shirts, I mean... Well, let's let's go through this one by one. T-shirts. Let's say your initial T-shirt order is about one hundred and fifty dollars just for. I'm doing this off kids kids stuff because I don't know what most of you guys do children's shirts. So let's say well let's say two hundred dollars for T-shirts, stabilizer, turn to touch needles, like all the supplies you would need. Let's say another two hundred dollars just for like not like bulk bulk amounts just to start. Let's say two hundred dollars, and say you want a heat press. That's the, let's just say five hundred for the heat press. I know you can get the cheaper heat press off Amazon, so I think that's like two fifty. So we're like at let's just do two fifty too. So four six fifty, and the machine is the biggest expense um, that you're gonna have. Uh, so it depends on your machine. I mean. And the area you live in. If you go to a brother, six needle, baby lock, ten needle, or whatever, it just depends. You could just say ten thousand for a machine. Like again, I don't know what the prices are where you guys live. So the other thing is like if you do like brother, you just finance it through synchrony. Um, so it just it just depends on your situation, but uh, the machine is just the biggest expense. Um, but always with every single machine, guys, please keep in mind it's not like you're buying. Something that's not making money. It's not like buying. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> it's not like buying a coffee cup that's not gonna make you money. It's not like buying a car that's not gonna make you money. You're literally buying something that's gonna generate money for you. So, think about that. Um. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Zelda I, <laughs> so I was like what and then I was like no she said something nice earlier so I think I don't think that was at me yeah you, you're fine um landscaping business logo tees uh, um Buffy, what area do you live in? Dun, dun, dun. 20 shirts, girl. That's awesome. More money going towards your house. Yes. It's high equity. Yes, a P800 is good to start. There's also the Baby Lock Flourish 2, which Nita Fajita has. If you guys want reference videos and want to see what that machine looks like, you can go to her YouTube channel. Pamela, when are you leaving? What if your machine shows up while you're gone? Pamela. Pamela. Pamela, I'm going to check with my connect. <laughs> Let me text my connect. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, where'd it go? I missed you so. Those machines count how many stitches. You can get a great used machine, but be careful. Buy from reputable dealers who will ship to you. I'm thinking of selling mine. Very low use. Yes, I agree. Do you like your director garment printer? I had a big order for 300 shirts that had three colors of vinyl all front and back. They took for... Oh, I couldn't imagine doing that. So, I love my DTG. It's super easy to use. I love it for doing my kids' stuff. Um, 300 shirts is a lot of shirts. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, it still would have taken a while with the DTG, but I'm sure nowhere near as much time because there's no weeding involved. Um, but 300 shirts, no matter how you do it, it's going to take <laughs> take a long time. Um, So let's we can just go through like the kid sizes. for So like 12 month, 18 month or 12 month. 18 months, you get like three of each. 2T, 3T, 4T, they're like the biggest sellers, so I get like five of each. Six and eight, maybe like three of each. 10, 12, 14, maybe two of each. Um, hey, Lakeisha. Angela, do you add your name to designs or edit existing designs in design shops? Do you add your names? I add names to the design. So the designs are already made, and I just add a name. And then delete the name, add a new name. Delete the name, add a new name. Hey, Fawn. Hey, Kristen. Kristen, where have you been? I got to check my house. Did he leave? Yep, he's gone. So I'm confused. Did you take my cabinets with you? Like... Oh my god, it's so creepy. It looks like someone's sta standing outside, but they're not. It's a shadow of something. Um... I, I use in brilliance. I've always used in brilliance. I don't like to change my way of designing. I'd rather design everything in one software. So everything I do is in brilliance. And I save it on the flash drive as PES because the Melcos can read PES. And PES saves color information, whereas other others don't. Um, and I just transfer it over with the flat flash drive. Nikki, I just got my first multi machine. Ooh, ooh. Congratulations. How many shirts do you mess up in the beginning? A lot. You do. It's it's part of it. I still do it. Um. Yeah. Instead of like, so the three hundred shirts on vinyl, you could next time try. You could do screen print transfers. Um, just send the design out so that way you don't have to weed it. It would save you a lot of time as well. That's another good option. Um. I was looking at something, I don't remember. But yeah, I was trying to see if someone, if he stole my cabinets. Like, no. Um, the, the folks I've dealt with here in Oregon keep telling me I don't need a 10 needle, but me once. I'm looking for a second hat frame. I do hats for kids, charity events. So having second frame is, yeah, always having more than one frame or hoop of anything always makes things a lot quicker because you can always keep it you can keep going keep it prepared sorry i need a gummy bear has anyone reused a shirt that you used the razor on we could try it i've never used it though but i think pamela did it in the video she must have been sure and i'm pretty sure she did it no, not the ghost, Liz. Stop. <clears throat> Stop. Mm. Thank you, Fawn, for the two ninety nine super chat. Um, one thing I would do differently is I wouldn't have gotten the Baby Lock Alliance. I would have just gotten in a multi needle. But you live and you learn. <laughs> I like Kenan's cameo. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hey, 
I told him I was putting an IG. I was recording. He got his whole face in the camera, so I put it up. He's like, why would you do that to me? I'm like, you the one who got your face in my phone. You can always go live even if you have one shirt in your Etsy shop. But just make sure you're planning to put more and more out. 30 is a good starting point, but there's no problem with having your shop open with one shirt and keep adding things. Just don't expect much um, right away. Priscilla, congratulations on your new home. It's the best feeling in the world. Thank you. I wanted to ask you, do you think that the online embroidery business is oversaturated? I would love to try my hand at it, but I want to make sure that I can get into the market. With everything you do, there's a lot of people doing it. It's not it you have to trust yourself and trust that you're original. No one can do what you do the way you do it. And there's only one you. You have your own designs, your own color schemes, your own fabrics. You have your own ideas and your own creativity as a person. Don't let the, oh, it's oversaturated. There's the biggest analogy I think that's my quote. Everyone uses this. There's so many brands of bread. Um, so just do. You're not going to know until you, until you try. And don't give yourself like a week. A week's not enough time. A month is not enough time. I have done this for almost five years at this point. A lot of things I did failed. And I say it failed because I kept trying and kept creating, reinventing the way I did things. Um, had I given up a long time ago, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be talking to you guys. So you just never know. Stop. Like, a lot of people, this isn't directed at you. This is in general. I I have high expectations for you guys. I don't want you guys to be, oh, I haven't been shopping for a month. I don't have any sales. I, I don't want to hear that. I need you guys to give yourself more time. Don't put a time limit on it. Keep adding new things. Keep trying new things. There's so much you can do, and you're just limiting yourself because you're not giving yourself time. Now, I've been there. I don't like being patient. My husband always says, give it time. In two, three years, I'm like, I don't want to hear two, three years. I want now. I'm working hard now, and nothing's happening now. But just don't give up. Like, you have to keep trying. Okay, I need to. Let's see. Let's see. A Leslie, thank you for the $10 super chat. She says, I don't embroider, but I watch your videos for entertainment. <laughs> You've been here from the beginning, A Leslie, so thank you so much. Latanya, thank you for the $10 super chat. And Val Devons, thank you for the $5 super chat. So, yes, with embroidery, there's so many different markets. You can do bridal, you don't have to do children's. There's bridal, there's pets like dog collars. Um, there's the baby section, baby hats, there's tablecloths, towels, um, there's just so many different things you can embroider. Laptop bags, um, backpacks, car seat covers, just find your market and what you like to do. Um, there's just so many things out there. Yeah, key fobs, there's, um, there's a lot. There's hair bows you do in their embroidery machines, there's so much you can do. Um, bye, Kristen. Yes, there's face masks. Uh, el día 19 de mayo es mi cumpleaños. I do a ton of toilet paper. <laughs> yes, people buy embroidered toilet paper. Like, there's so much you, you can do and just don't limit yourself and don't doubt yourself in thinking that you have to do what everyone else does. No, be unique, do your own thing, find your own way to promote your business. Like everything that is successful in this world came from an idea. Same way, the same way you think other people think. It's just those who implement their ideas and keep changing their ideas and molding their ideas um, to be better. That's that's the best way I can put it. Secret Santa toilet paper. I'd be so mad. <laughs> How do you turn a multiple Etsy stores? Are they all under an LLC? So when you open your Etsy shop, like if you have Etsy now, you can just click add, like create a new shop. Zelda, Zelda. For the $10 super chat. 
chat. Thanks for info. I'm going to go now and embroider that thick fabric Carhartt vest. Blessings to you. I'm Scam Granny on YouTube, exposing scammers to educate older peeps like me. <laughs> yes, we had a few uh, on my phone recently. <laughs> Asking for the extended warranty on the car. And my response is, I don't have a car. I only have a bike. Sorry. Um, reusable paper towel holder. Paper towels. They even roll them up on a towel holder. Yeah. There's, there's just so many things you can do. Like, get just creative about it. Think of ways to make it happen. Thong. <laughs> Liz, uh, yes, I'm sure. I'm sure those will sell. That I'll put that in the wedding category, even not the wedding category. But yes, though, you better put some initials. <laughs> I'm done. I just need to stop. <laughs> Liz, you're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> My goodness, you're funny. Um. Latanya York, watch you all the time. This is the second time catching live. I don't have a business. I just love watching the beautiful things you create. Oh, thank you, Latanya. Yeah, Liz doesn't hold back. Liz just, Liz, you don't have a filter. It just comes straight out. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Liz always has me dying. Um, The hardest design? Hmm. To me, the hardest is a unicorn, just because it takes so long. I saw a TikTok account that does thong embroidery and underwear. That's a real thing. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah. Like, if you do the satin bride's robes and just... People buy it. So, I mean, hey. If it sells. Fawn Miller. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. You are the ultimate success story. Oh, thank you, Fawn. Smash the thumbs up, guys. Yes, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, That's how I got started watching her videos, and now I'm excited getting everything in order to open my shop. All thanks to Angela. I wish you much success, Lisa. It took me almost a month, but I had to keep up with marketing and putting new items on my Etsy. I highly suggest doing Anna's Etsy success class. Oh, thank you, Marisu. Thank you. Liz, stop. <laughs> Liz, oh my gosh. Coffee powered home, stop. <laughs> I cannot. The things you say. Slow season. Um, hmm. Really? No. Um, I don't know. Cause Christmas is busy. I would say maybe like, like two week, like a week after Christmas. <laughs> yeah, Liz. <laughs> mm. What is the weirdest thing that you guys have seen that is embroidered? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> Liz's comments. <laughs> If you guys don't know who Liz is, she's coffee powered home. If you're trying to see the comment she left. <laughs> oh my gosh. I put in my AJ Blanks orders. Yay. Needed some boy shirts. Thank you, Barbara, for your order. Oh my god, Liz. Um, hats. People do hats. Um what else? Socks? I know people do socks. I've had a lot of people ask me on Instagram if I embroider socks. I was like, I didn't know that was a thing. Um, socks, what else? Bet you're sorry you made me a mod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your stuff is even more visible now because it's blue. Toilet paper. Uh, what do you work on when you're not embroidering? I'm usually packing um, AJ Blanks and KCD orders. Um, or like I'm uploading pictures to my Etsy shop for designs I already have up there. Like I took pictures and you guys saw the, if you saw the last video, I took pictures, never uploaded them though. They're still sitting on my phone, pictures and videos. So I need to upload those. Um, and then if I'm not doing any work stuff. I'm just hanging out with the kids, getting beat up by Roman, who's my son. <laughs> He's one. Um, and Trying to save Riley from Roman. Um, he seems to think that he's like a football, sumo wrestler, dancing child. So, yeah. 
Angela, where's your coffee? I don't think I've ever seen you not drinking coffee. Well, because of the live, I drink my coffee in the morning to like early afternoon, but the, co the coffee was over. Um, I finished it before I started. I was working on the DTG orders. Um, I do inappropriate towels locally. <laughs> I'm glad you put it that way. I'm sure Liz wouldn't have said it that way. <laughs> <laughs> AJ, thank you. Appreciate you. Oh, thank you, Michaela. Not my toilet paper. That was essential and expensive in 2020. Yeah, you ain't even blowing my toilet paper. I gotta wipe my butt with that. <laughs> uh, they have a hoop to fit socks. Oh man, that is so funny. Monica Alegria, Laverne. Hi, Laverne. I had to take all my TP down during 2020. I got scared people would get desperate. Oh, my God. I mean, that's true. You, man, they would just start buying that offline. Your kiddos and hubby are adorable. Love to see your family. Thank you so much, Roseanne. Um, man. I need, it's 2.30. Keenan, Keenan, are you there? Hello? I already, um, I already did the DTG earlier. Um, I'm trying to see if Keenan is going to tend to touch these two shirts so that they can ship. So the Melco, is the Melco a set price for your salesman or is the cost a different price? So yes, Todd has a price for you guys and the price goes up and down depending on what you guys want to add. If you want to add Mighty Hoops, if you want to add... Like fast clamps, what accessories you want to add? That would differentiate the price. Do, do, do. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But, yeah, since Kina's not answering me, this is cute. Monogram moment. She does. Where did I click? She does um, the PNG designs for uh, whether you have sublimation or you have inkjet transfers or the DTG. She makes designs. I use her stuff all the time. I want to start selling on Etsy, but I'm scared. I only have a single embroidery machine. I think almost everyone who has started with embroidery. Um, Started with a single. I started with a single. Pamela started with a single. Cassandra and her crazy tutu outfits <laughs> started with a P800. Every, almost everyone here on YouTube has started with a P800. I'm sure most of you guys have as well. Um, that's just how you start. And you save up your money and you get a most needle after that. Um. Dun, dun, dun. You can make embroidery look like lace. I think I saw that somewhere. Oh, I just cracked that, that. Liz, I cannot. Oh, I'm just. Liz. Mm. Liz. Tisk, tisk, Liz. <laughs> it would have been so fun if you were in my class as a child growing up. I think you would have been in the principal's office every day. Um. Hey, Omaida. Keenan, did you really just text me what to W U T? Keenan, I'm hungry. Hey, Ursula. So instead of a thousand for the P800, you can get the SE 1900 or the Baby Lock Flourish 2, which have, give you the 6x10 hoop, which is a bigger hoop. Um, yeah, no, we wouldn't get any work done with her class. Um, so for the Mighty Hoops, you would have to have a tubular machine. So you'd have to have, like, the Baby Lock Alliance or the Brother Persona and then, or Multi Needle. Hey, Talitha. Um, the Single Needle Budget Friendly Embroidery Machine right now is just so hard because it used to be the P800, but now it's just way 
overpriced. So like the Baby Lock Flourish 2 does have the bigger hoop. It's $1,500 um, or the SE900. Um, no, no vendo mis camisas para wholesale de uh, bordado. Let me see. Bye, Michaela. Yeah, single needle with bigger hoops. That, yep, that works. I'm getting so cold right now. So this is gonna be just a. This was just a quick live, just to say hey, to pack up some orders and chat with you guys. Keena still never came to tend to touch my shirt, so I gotta tend to touch those, package them, put tape on these so they can get shipped out um, today to the post office. Um, no, this machine doesn't have built-in Disney designs. No, um, but yeah, I don't have a supplier for the Baby Lock Flourish too. I don't know if it needs to be a dealer. Maybe you look on online. I don't. I don't know for sure. So yeah. Oh, so everyone have a good day. We are ending this live. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna turn into a skeleton, as Riley would say. Um. So yeah. He <laughs> was voted class clown. I'm not shocked. Um. So yeah. I don't want crackers, Keenan. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Be productive. Do something today. I will see you guys on Sunday, I guess, for the next live. Hopefully, I'll post a video before then-ish. We'll